Exercise 8. Ebco Company had $1,050,000 of sales in each of three consecutive years, 2008, 9, and 10, and it purchased merchandise costing $650,000 in each of those years. It also maintained a $210,000 physical inventory from the beginning to the end of that three-year period. In accounting for inventory, it made an error at the end of year 2008 that caused its year-end 2008 inventory to appear on its statements as 190000 rather than the correct 210000 and were first asked to determine the correct amount of the company's gross profit in each of the three years 2008 through 2010. Gross profit is sales minus cost of goods sold. Sales is $1,050,000 per year. Cost of goods sold is calculated by taking the beginning inventory balance, 210000 plus the total cost of merchandise purchases, 650000 and subtracting the ending inventory balance, which is also 210000 The correct amount of cost of goods sold should be 650000 Sales minus cost of goods sold is gross profit, $400,000. This should be the amount in each of the three years. But then we're asked to prepare comparative income statements to show the effect of the error on the company's cost of goods sold and gross profit for each of the years 2008 through 2010. So let's start with 2008. The amount of sales, $1,050,000, was correct. The beginning inventory balance was also correct, 210000 we add the purchases 650,000 for a subtotal of 860,000. But then, rather than subtracting the correct amount 210,000, due to the error, only 190,000 was subtracted. By understating the ending inventory, cost of goods sold is overstated by $20,000. Overstating our expense understates our gross profit by 20,000. In 2009, sales of 1,050,000 minus cost of goods sold, but our beginning inventory balance is understated by 20000 Rather than the correct 210, we show 190000 as our beginning inventory balance. We add 650000 bringing us to a subtotal of 840000 and then at the end of 2009, the inventory balance is correctly stated at 210000 840000 minus 210000 is 630000 Our expense, cost of goods sold, is understated as a result of understating the beginning inventory balance. Since our expense is too low by 20000 our gross profit is overstated by 20000 And in 2010, sales of $1,050,000, cost of goods sold, the beginning inventory correctly stated at 210000 plus purchases of 650 brings us up to 860000 less ending inventory of 210000 cost of goods sold 650000 gross profit the correct 400000 When we look at the three years in total, the correct amount would have been $400,000 per year, for a total of $1.2 million over the three-year period. As a result of the error, in 2008, gross profit is understated by 20000 Inventory errors are said to be self-correcting. We saw that in 2009, as a result of understating the beginning inventory, gross profit is overstated by $20,000. And in 2010, the amount was correctly stated, 400000 When we combine the three years, our total is still $1.2 million. An inventory error that goes undetected will self-correct at the end of the second year.